Hey, Glenn and Alan, that's right. You know, masks will be a new addition, right, to your child's list of back-to-school supplies this fall. And masks really help to reduce the spread of the coronavirus. We know this. So face coverings are really an important uh, school accessory. And here's what parents like myself should remember when masking up kids. First of all, younger kids should wear smaller masks designed for kids. Please don't buy them those N95 resp respirators or masks with those valves. And an all cloth mask should really have multiple layers for the best protection, in my opinion. Experts recommend pleated face coverings with elastic for kids. And also make sure the mask fits properly over your child's nose and mouth, not just the mouth, nose and mouth. And please don't add any decorations or accessories like chains or lanyards that might encourage kids to do what? Fidget with that mask, right? And then children should wash their hands along with adults after removing their masks. And wash your, hand, wash your child's mask after every use. It's a good idea to stock up on several masks to get them through the week. And lastly, make sure they're wearing the mask when they leave the house, right, so they do not forget it. You know, Dr. Nandy, we know that getting children to actually wear masks, that's going to be a very hard sell, especially throughout the entire school day. What advice do you have for parents? And listen, Ellen, it's hard for adults to wear these darn things, right? So adults and kids, we have to get used to wearing masks in public places. And here's how I think you can get kids to be more comfortable about what masking up. Sit down with your kid and explain why they have to wear a mask. They, they're, you know, you're their biggest hero and, and you can tell them why. Emphasize that you love them and you want to protect them and others from germs. Also have them practice wearing a mask for extended periods of time while playing at home. I did that with my son, Sean. He came in and showed me just a little while ago. And remember, if they see you wearing a mask, they'll wear one too. Very important. And Dr. Nandy, especially the little ones. I mean, some of them are in kindergarten through fifth grade, so all ages there. So should children of every age wear a face covering? You know, I got kids that, you know, are going to be in first and second grade, so I get it. But children and babies under the age of two should not wear masks because they have smaller airways and could have some trouble with breathing, right? There are also exceptions for students with some pre-existing health conditions. Talk to your doctor about that. This could make it difficult for them to wear a mask if they're unable to remove the mask without assistance. And parents should check with their school district about whether a doctor's noted is, is really needed in these cases. Some schools need this. And bottom line is, let's make the return to school healthy and safe for everyone. And one of those critical pieces is what uh, wearing masks. We'll have to talk to them about social distancing and disinfecting, but masks are critical. Protecting themselves. Thank you so much, 100%. Dr. Nandy. Yeah. My pleasure. And remember, if you do have a coronavirus question for their good doctor, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com. Be sure to send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.